and I'm really really excited about that because I have been shopping with Yassal for about almost three years now so the fact that Yassal is suddenly really really popular really excites me because I really wanted to share with you guys some recent items that I've purchased with Yassal and to talk a little bit about Yassal you know um why I like shopping with them um, and what also to look out for when buying from them. So the first item that I purchased are the earrings that I am wearing currently. They are these earrings right here. These were the moon and star odd matching ones. I'll have all the products linked down below if you are interested in buying any of them. Um, these I paid £4.22 for them. I also have a bronze membership with Yastel so that also affects the prices that I pay but they aren't much more expensive than that. All of the items that I purchased were really reasonably priced um, and these earrings as well are just so beautiful. Um, on, I absolutely love them if you can see. Um, but that are still really, really cute. So I really, really love these earrings. Um, they are a little bit smaller than what I originally thought they were going to be. I thought they were going to be a little bit bigger than this. Um, but I am still completely pleased with them. They're still really cute and dainty and small. So I still really, really like them. The next pair of earrings that I purchased were these ones. I've actually seen these in um, a Hey It's Faye video. I saw her wearing these and I thought, oh my god, they're gorgeous. I must have them. They're so beautiful. So I bought a pair for myself. Um, I've worn these before as well. They are a little bit heavier than some of the other statement earrings that I usually wear, but they're not too heavy to the point where I can feel like they're pulling my earlobes down. Um, they're still really, really pretty. I have had compliments when I wear these. But same with these ones, I have had compliments wearing them. Um, really, really, really pretty. These earrings were just under five pounds. So again, still really affordable. They're beautiful statement earrings. Probably one of, I actually think that these are my favorite pair of earrings that I've purchased this time around from YesStyle. Um, they're just really nice quality, their quality just feels really, really good as well. Um, they feel exactly the same as the earrings that I bought from the high streets in Korea as well, so they are really, really good. I love these. The next pair of earrings is actually a repurchase for me, so I purchased these earrings at the beginning of the year. However, I lost half of the earring um, at the previous place I was living at um, because we had floorboards and I took the earrings out and basically the heart bit fell on the floorboards of both of these earrings, but they look like this. It's a bit difficult to show with both of them, but they kind of look like this. And then the back of the earring has a chain on it as well so it creates this really gorgeous like double like double layered effect it's really really pretty these were um two pound 69 so again really really cheap my only complaint with these earrings is when they arrived they arrived faulty now i did actually leave a review on the actual product itself um, with pictures attached. Now I have fixed them because luckily I can. I was able to fix them but basically on one of the earrings the chains were the wrong way around. The heart was on the backing and the chain was on the front of the earring. So luckily I have a friend that has pliers and we were able to open the loops and, cha and change out the chains but that is really, really disappointing that they did come faulty. If I did not have the right tools I would not have been able to wear them. 
which sucks but I did not have that problem the first time around that I bought them so they're so pretty and I absolutely love these earrings as well hence why I repurchased them now the next item that I purchased was a set of 10 rings now these only come in one size so if you do have very slender hands or very thick fingers um, it might be a bit tricky with you so I got the silver pack so you get 10 rings you can see and I I just dropped one but um if I can try and show you guys so these ones actually if it will focus if you can try and see from but if you can see here kind of um they are a little bit thinner and they are more textured and then you do have the smoother thicker ones so you get five of each you get different sizes so you do get five of each um so you got you get five smooth ones and five more kind of textured thinner ribbed ones i mainly bought these for the plain uh rings now the only issue i have with these is i have quite slender fingers and i thought that buying them from a korean website would be a little bit easier for me because um korean women do tend to have a lot more sl smaller hands because they are just smaller in general and in turn also slimmer fingers but the biggest rings so there's two of these um the biggest ring i don't know if you're going to be able to see this but even for my index finger it's just too big they just come off way too easily on my thumb as well so the only thing that I would be able to do to fix that is to put maybe some hot glue on the inside to stop it from slipping as much because they do fit here relatively okay it's just that they will slide off too easily but the other rings do fit um, in different places on my fingers so for instance the smaller one that the three small ones are all the same size it fits on my pinky finger and it fits here on these two bits as well they don't quite fit here it's a bit too big for it to go um as like a midi ring but it's too small to go all the way down and with the more ribbed ones the problem that i have with them is that the bigger ones are way too big as you can see you can see how easy they're gonna slide off my fingers and then the smaller ones um will only really fit my ring finger um so i do tend to lay all three of them together because they don't actually fit on any other part of my other fingers so that's a little bit disappointing that these two rings are pretty much useless to me um but other than that all the other rings fit me and i paid £2.19 so all in all it's actually not that expensive um especially for 10 rings it's pretty cheap um so i can't really complain too much because i still did get um eight rings that i can wear now the last accessory that i bought is a pair of non-prescription circle glasses i got the black room ones because i already have a pair of silver um circle glasses that i bought from yesterday about a year and a half ago um but also the bridge of those glasses are a little is a little bit lower than this pair so it does kind of give me a different effect and the lenses are a little bit bigger i think um than this pair but the reason why i bought the black ones was because it goes with a lot more um outfits and accessories than a, just a plain silver one um these glasses were £2.79 so again really, really cheap I personally really like these ones I don't think it's necessary ne to buy a more expensive pair the quality it's really really good I'm actually really happy 
with them. I think that they suit my face size really, really well. Um, they look really, really nice with photos as well, obviously, the, because I have lights on right now. Um, it's creating a bit of glare, but I really like them. I think they're really worth the money and they're perfect for days where I want to look put together and sophisticated and smart without actually putting on a lot of makeup. Um, so I give them a great rating. Now moving on to skincare. Um, this is a repurchase because I bought this so many times and it is talked about a lot on in the K-Beauty um, community and it is the Kotorix Pimple Patches. Um, I've actually used half of them already. Um, because they came just at the right time, just as my pimples were popping up. Um, so you get, I think 25, no 24, you get 24 pimple patches as you can see. As you can see I've already used quite a bit of them. Um, you get three different sizes, you get a really small one, a medium sized one, and big sized ones um you basically just put them on over a spot um it'll kind of suck all of uh the fluid out of it really painless it's actually quite soothing as well because i do get quite inflamed acne so i really like these and you can actually put makeup on top of it as well um, so I do see quite a lot of people putting these on their pimples and then putting their normal makeup on top. And basically it means that you can wear makeup um, and still have the pimple covered so the makeup is not actually making the pimple any more inflamed, any more red. It's not slowing down the healing time as well. So I really like these. But I do tend to wear these overnight um, and then take them off in the shower. And the last product before moving on to clothing is another skincare product. It is, again by CosRx, it is the Natural BHA Skin Returning A Soul. This is a toner. I didn't actually know until I bought it and it arrived that it was a toner because on the listing it doesn't say what it is. Um, but it says it right here that it is a um, toner designed to help reduce skin concerns while soothing and hydrating the applied area. I've been using this for less than two weeks now, um, so I can't say it's completely changed um, my skincare regime like some of the people that left reviews on the website did. However, I do really really love this product um a lot of the time i will just put this on in the more in the morning lately because it's not been quite that cold here in england yet I'm doing a couple of pumps of this rubbing it into my hands tapping it on my face and then just following that up with an essence um and then i just put my makeup on just because i do have very oily skin and it is still quite warm out here so i am still producing quite a lot of oil um, but when it does obviously cool down, I'll put more layers of skincare on as I usually do. But this is amazing. It's really hydrating. I think if you do have acne prone skin as well, I think this would be really good because it definitely does soothe my acne um, and my skin. And I do have found actually that since I've been using this, um, my skin has, without makeup, been looking more even. And, a, and slightly brighter than it used to. But in terms of acne reducing, I wouldn't necessarily say that, but I definitely noticed a slight difference in this condition of my skin. So now I'm gonna be moving on to clothing items. I only ordered two. This is not the first time I've ordered clothing on YesStyle, but this is the, this is actually the second time I've bought clothing. Um, so I was very, very nervous because I am quite tall compared to Korean pe Korean women and I'm not as skinny as Korean women. I am a little bit curvy.
Arcadia. Uh, so I was very, very concerned about the sizing. Um, both of the items that I bought were one size, so that was a big concern. The first item is this t-shirt. I don't know if you guys can see, it might be too bright. I think it is too bright, hang on. It's this t-shirt. Um, this is by the brand Moon, Moon Safa. Um, it was £7.78. I'm just gonna go try this on and show you guys. So, so just for reference, I am 169 centimeters tall, and in the UK, I usually wear a size medium. I very, very rarely have to uh, get a size up or a size down. There are occasions, though, that I do fit a small, and there are also occasions where I only fit a large, but I usually am a medium. So this is one size. Um, it fits me amazingly well. Um, it is still a little bit oversized on me, which I really, really like because on the model in the pictures it was oversized on her, so I was really, really concerned whether it was going to be oversized on me or not. But it is still fairly oversized. I love the length of the sleeves as well. It's not too short and it's not too long. It doesn't look like an awkward length on me at all. I actually prefer my sleeves to be about this length, usually around like this length or longer for me for sleeves because I do have, um, I do tend to carry my weight more in my arms and in my midsection. I am wearing safety shorts but I'm going to show you guys the length, um, I might have to go actually on my head. Um, I am wearing shorts as you can see, um, so it is not, um, quite as long as it was online, um, which I actually was anticipating, however, it is still pretty long on me, considering I'm a lot taller than most Korean women. The fact that it is still so long on me is actually really nice, um, because I can wear it oversized if I wanted to with shorts during the summer. Um, I do have that option. But I am actually going to probably wear it more tucked into skirts. Yeah, I think tucked into an A-line skirt from here would be really, really pretty. It's a really, really soft material as well. It's not see-through. Like, I don't know if you guys can see. I also have lights. To be fair, I also have lights shining on it. So that would also be why it might look a little bit more see-through than it does in person. But... Um, it does, okay, you can see my fingers slightly, but that's also because there's light shining on it, but it's not see-through in person at all, but Maria, um, it's just really nice and soft and thick, and it's a little bit stretchy as well, but look at how much room there is in this shirt. Now the next items that I'm going to be trying on is a set. Now I was really, really nervous about buying this because I thought it was not, I was really unsure whether it was actually going to fit me um, because again it's one size, it's a um, sweater and skirt set and this was £19 and two pence. So this is it on. Um, I'm obviously gonna stand back in a second and show you guys, but it does fit. <laughs> I was able to get it over my body, which was amazing. I think if you were, a l I think you would still probably be able to wear it um, if you are a large. Um, same with a t-shirt actually, I'm pretty sure even if you are bigger than me, you should still be able to fit into it. Um, it might be a little bit tighter around like the boob area than it is on me, obviously, um, and it might be a little bit shorter, especially this jumper right here. It might, if you do have bigger boobs than me, um, it might be a little bit shorter at the front, um, but it is still quite, it's still long enough, so it's not gonna, you're not gonna be bearing your whole midsection, don't worry. Um, I do have some qualms with it that I do 
what did you get into in a second but let me show you guys the full length of it this is the full length there's a slit in the back i'm not wearing it completely correctly but this is what the set looks like so my my issues with this set first of all um it does look different than it is on than it looks like on the website first of all um if you can see it's not necessarily frayed but it does have a bit more of a frill at the edges of um the sleeves the neckline the ends of the sweater as well same with the bottom of same with the bottom of the skirt it has that same frill which was different online um if you are taller than me um and you do have longer arms i do have very oddly short arms for my height but if you do have longer arms it might be too the arms might be a little bit too short for you that's something to keep in mind um something else i wanted to mention is when it arrived, I did cut off a couple of loose threads. Now, it doesn't particularly bother me that much, but if you are, if that kind of thing bothers you, that's something to keep in mind. Um, also, the skirt is slightly see-through, so I would definitely have to wear safety shorts with it. Um, I'm wearing safety shorts with it now, so I don't know if you guys can see it. To be fair, I'm also wearing a tank top with it as well, but, um, you might have to wear some black shorts underneath it um, if you're not wearing tights with it but I think that if you wear shorts underneath it it should be fine um, however I will say it's quite warm <laughs> it's fairly thick so it will keep me it will most likely keep me um, warm in the winter time um i can definitely see myself wearing this also um the only other person that left a review on this item did say that when she received it it had a weird smell now i wouldn't say it has a weird smell um like a chemically smell or anything but it does kind of smell similar to play-doh so that's everything for my Yeso haul. I, in total, spent around £60. Um, just under £60 because I did initially order something else but that got cancelled. So I did spend about £60 on all of these items. But um, I'm really, really happy with every single one of them. I would give every single one of the, these items four or five stars on the website so I think it's definitely worth it